Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Adama Triore card uh, to check out. We're taking a look at someone who is 5'10", high low work rates, right footed, 4 star skill moves with a 4 star weak foot. Uh, in game attributes, Adama is going to be a controlled player, right? So controlled player on the finisher chemistry style. Um, is going to give him a massive shooting boost as well as a dribbling boost. Now, technically, you can make him a lengthy player on an architect chemistry style. I wouldn't be completely against this, but at the same time, I do feel like improving the shooting as much as possible could be a very ideal situation. So that's really going to be up to the person. I do feel like most people, if they were to get their hands on this card, would give him that finisher to boost the shooting as much as possible, as well as the dribbling. So with his shooting, it's going to be mainly for the inside shots. You know, obviously him being in, in the areas that he's at definitely looks really good. The traits, speed dribbler player traits he definitely looks like a, a runner type right so like anaki williams he might just be the guy that you just want to kind of send those through balls and law passes to and kind of break the defensive line in that way dribbling we will be experimenting with obviously because he is five foot ten with a unique body type so in this year's game it could work out a little bit differently but the main dribbling stats are going to be or is going to be in a good area reactions will be low uh and then ball control will also be low which kind of suggests you may want to use him in a two striker setup right we'll see um passing on the cards not necessarily the greatest so again two striker setup could be more ideal no defensive stats and then he actually has some physical capabilities with the strength as well as some you know a little bit of aggression you could technically give this card some sort of physical boost right so you can see that most people are giving him a finisher architect to make him a lengthy or if you were to give him a marksman chemistry style and you kind of just like this is just if the dribbling is kind of set up a certain way on the card, you could still make him work really well on this, right? Because the pace is still in a very good area. Dribbling is not really something you're going to work with, right? It's more going to be in the strength and jumping department. So it just depends on how you're going to play. Obviously, you guys know me. Finisher is usually um, the important one. So in game, we're going to be using him like this, right? So just a quick little team, quick little team that we put together here. 4-2-3-1, playing him up top, David Silva, Bernardo Silva, bang. Ah, we'll do this. Yeah, we'll do that. And then Palinga is the stay back, yes. Okay, cool. We'll try him on the striker position. Hopefully he is a beast. He's got the blonde hair, instant W. <laughs> this is how it looks for the home side. David Soria is the goalkeeper. Bernardo Silva plays on yeah, I wanted to get that quick cut there because I had a feeling he was just going to activate that run right away, which he did. I got the through ball. I might be good. And here's how it looks for Dons. Mm, yeah, the pass, the, the first initial pass was too slow. If it was faster, I get that run off right away. Ooh, that actually wasn't a bad strike. That was a really bad finesse. And that's a regular time shot, like no uh, green on that under pressure. Ah, uh, he goes angled. Oh, I actually scored that. Okay. Cool. Sounds good to me. So the high-low work rates, uh, very, very noticeable on the card. Uh, initially with the angled run that he did, with a run like that, definitely being very noticeable so far. Yeah, that's right away too. The space here at the bottom, nice. Touch. Should have uh, passed the ball to him, actually. He made a good run there. No! I don't think it was going to go in anyways. It wasn't a looped one. That first touch was not the greatest. Very emphasized. Oh. Yeah, he's uh, he's consistently activating it, though. That high-low work rate is being very noticeable. Like, once I get into the right positions, he's doing it right away. We'll take that. I think he was using a little bit of the manual goalkeeping right there. Good goal, though. That first time pass was not what I wanted. I saw the guy at the bottom, so I like did a through ball to the bottom. It didn't work out at all. Oh, 
Coutinho. Bernardo Silva. Can he finish? Ah, uh, no finish. On a green, I might be able to score that. Bernardo Silva. Oh, big opportunity. His first touch uh, sometimes lets him down. Like, ball control? I guess that's like the ball control part. Like, he does drag the ball from time to time. Oh man, if he just held his run, because you have to make that first initial pass so that you can get a good runoff, like, and just be through on goal. Oh, on the spot. No momentum whatsoever, he scores it. Cool. Oh, crossbar. Yeah, I figured you were off. Because I was doing time finishes for sure, and it just wasn't working. Okay, cool. I blocked. Oh my god, that one though. Nicely done. You could see on a consistent basis, like, I think it's his ball control or something where his first time drag touch is, like, not always the greatest, of course. It's a bad offside trap by him. We'll take that, though. I want to give him, um, I want to give him a marksman this time. So, with the finisher, right, two goals so far. Let's see here. Okay. So, I want to give him the marksman chemistry style. Because the marksman gives them a little bit of a reactions boost, right? Um, it's this one right here. Do I feel like it's going to be like super relevant? No, it's probably going to be something that you have to work with a little bit. But that ball control is also another one that I want to see, right? Because that initial touch that he takes kind of lets him down sometimes. And obviously, if you're going to face like park the bus people, one, you have to use a two striker formation. And two, that initial drag touch will mess with you a little bit. Oh, Traore. See that, that activated run is like wild, man. It's wild to work with. Let's go, Traore. Doesn't even have that, momentum, that much momentum on the ball and he still strikes it well. Gotta get those greens, you know? Nice. Let's go, Traore. Right? I'm liking him more on the marksman. Like, uh, for me personally, sure, you have to work with the dribbling a little bit, but the marksman, I feel like, just makes more sense. A little bit of an extra physical boost to work with that running of his. Um, the shooting stats are really well balanced for everything. You just got to work high percentage strikes. Like, look, he still makes that run that you want him to make. And that is much better when it comes to dribbling. I don't expect him to be crazy at those, though, for sure. It's, it's more just like a runner card that you want to work with. There it is. You make, a, you make the initial passes in the beginning and you kind of wait for him to utilize that space a certain way, right? Like you do these, these little passes here, boom, boom, and then the players start to activate their runs. That's what you want to work with, right? Oh, I should have made the pass here. Much better. Much, much better. I, I like him way more on this for sure. Drag, turn around, there we go. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Adama Triori card. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm noticing this like consistent trend with some of the cards, right? Like with Pyatt, it's nice to give him an engine. You could totally do that, or you can give him a hunter and the card's gonna be nice. But there are some cards where I genuinely feel like I don't really care to boost their agility and balance because of the way that the game kind of plays out nowadays. So the reason why I gave him the marksman chemistry style is because 
you get a good shooting balance between all of the stats. He already has, you know, really good pace on the card at a 97 acceleration, 97 for sprint speed. What you're working with the most is the fact that this card is mainly going to be used for running, right? So because those base card stats for pace is so high, because he has that high low work rate, he's gonna do that on a consistent level, right? So with the marksman chemistry style, you're gonna try to work high percentage strikes as much as possible. And when I gave him the marksman, I feel like boosting his reactions and ball control seemed to be a pretty integral part on the card because his unique body type kind of makes me feel like I want to do that, right? So it's kind of a very similar situation to the Lacazette card, right? Because I gave him a finisher. I was like, this is a waste of time. Gave him a hunter. He felt significantly better. With the Dama, I feel the same way when I gave him a marksman chemistry style. He actually felt like a pretty decent card to use in this game. You can see that his close controlled touches kind of came off a little bit better. His agility and balance is low, but it still worked out for the better in my opinion. So, um, you know, obviously with a few things here and there, the passing on the card is noticeably bad from time to time, right? Well, obviously having bad passing stats can be a little bit of a nuisance in certain attacking positions. Uh, this is a card that you can use as a lone striker, but with his attacking AI, I would definitely recommend it more as one of two strikers, or if you want to have an aggressive oriented side position player, you can totally use him there too, because the high low work rates, you'd be your more aggressive oriented attacker. If you're playing like a 4-3-3 system, and this is the guy that you have on cut inside, getting behind all that kind of stuff, he'll be really good at doing that kind of thing. So the card's definitely very nice. I feel like he's going to keep going down in price as well. Um, you know, obviously with him being from the Premier League, giving you some Spanish links, there are a bunch of things you can work with, right? So you could do like a Liga Santander hybrid while working with some Premier League players in your team. So that alone would be uh, a really cool thing to work with. But yeah, if you guys do end up trying out the card in game, uh, I would say that the main things that you notice, obviously, is dribbling you have to work with a little bit, which is not really that big of a nuisance for the way that he kind of plays out in game. Uh, and then obviously, you have to work with the fact that his passing is not necessarily the greatest. So some of the passes that you may want to be able to make, he's not going to be able to do on a consistent level. So um, other than those two things, I think the card's pretty nice. I didn't really mind his attacking positioning being at an 82. Like the thing that I noticed the most is the fact that he's a runner, right? The high low work rates, the base card stats for pace. That's what you notice mostly in game when it comes to um, attacking capabilities. But what's interesting is that maybe with attacking positioning, it's funny because I have him on stage central, but he consistently does those like angled runs and stuff, right? So it could be uh, a thing that plays into effect. But uh, the card's enjoyable. Hopefully, keeps going down in price, offers you some pretty good links. You can't really go wrong with him. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.